This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a three and a half inch SATA hard drive into an HP Z440 workstation. So, if you have an HP Z440 workstation and you're looking for awesome upgrade ideas or even part numbers for the hard drives that will work um, in this video, um, go to www.greenpcgamers.com. Um, on the top of the page, click on the blog and search articles for Z440. It's going to bring up an article called HP Z440 Gaming Computer and Other Hardware Upgrades. You want to click on that. And this page will give you a whole bunch of awesome upgrade ideas for your HP Z440 workstation. All the way from processors, memory, NVMe drives, graphics cards, and other peripherals. So you'll definitely want to book bookmark this page. Um, you can also use it to find compatible 3.5 inch hard drives so you can emulate what we're doing in this video. Alright, so let's get to our actual install. So we've got our HP Z440 workstation. This is a refurb system. It's all scratched up, but everything works. And then we've got our, uh, we're gonna do a four terabyte hard drive in a standard Z440 hard drive sled. So, and if you're looking for this hard drive sled, it's located inside the chassis. Uh, the further you watch in the video, you'll see uh, where you can grab the sled from. All right, so we have our three and a half inch drive and we're gonna install it into that drive sled. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. Um, there's four dimples on that sled, and you just want to line those up with the holes on the, on the sides of the drive, and the connections, the SATA connections, you want to have on the top of it towards those green thumb handles where you're actually going to install it, because if you, once you install it inside the system, that's how you're going to be able to clip it into place, um, and then connect to your power and your data cable. All right, so put your system on its side. Remove the side panel like we showed you. And then from this point, you all you have to do is drop your drive into place. All right, so you line it up in slot zero. We're having a little bit of trouble lining it up, but once we get it in there, it drops right in and it will click for you. Next, attach your data cable, which should already be attached to your motherboard and then your power cable that's part of the power supply cable harness all right so once we have that installed we'll go ahead and put our side panel back on super simple to actually install the drive and then we are going to go into the f10 setup uh, once we do that we're going to go into system information and under advanced we're gonna scroll down and just make sure we can see our drive. Now we see our drive, four terabyte drive. Um, we have an NVMe drive as our boot device, so we're really just using this as extra storage. So it's good. Good first step is that we can see our drive. And now we need to boot into Windows. Now, if you did a fresh install like we did and you don't have your storage controller driver installed, um, you're going to have to emulate what we do here shortly. Um, this is a reminder to get the latest driver, um, off hp.com, uh, for your storage controller, because some of the older drivers will have issues with larger capacity drives. All right. So here's how to get that storage driver. Go to hp.com, click on the support and click on drivers. And you can click on desktop and search Z440. It'll autofill for you. HP Z440 workstation. Click on that. And then all you have to do is go to driver and storage. It's called Intel Rapid Storage Technology Enterprise Driver. Uh, download that. And we are going to install it here in a second. But first, we're going to show you. Uh, we're going to right click on start, go to, uh, go to device manager. And we are going to show you that our RAID controller is not working properly. So that's not going to allow us to see our four terabyte drive. If yours is working already, you'll be able to skip this step, but this is how you actually install this driver. And it's really easy to do. It takes, I don't know, we're going to show you. It takes about two minutes to actually install this device. So like I said, if you already have this driver installed, um, you can skip past this step and then go right into the disk management and enable your drive, which we're going to show you here shortly after this driver installs. 
And so once the drive is installed, then we'll assign it a path. And as you can see, the drive's already showing up local E right here, but we still have to go into disk management and assign it that path. Um, or we're going to name it too. Um, so um, once this is finished, which it should be very shortly, uh, wants us to restart the computer. We're going to do that. We're going to fast forward and go right into our reboot here. Okay, so we rebooted. Our rate controller is working properly now, so you can see everything's working. And now we just need to go into disk management and enable that drive. So right-click on start disk management and it's going to be called disk one we'll hit okay and then we'll right click on it and make it a new simple volume and it's the epath and we're going to name it four terabyte drive all right so again this is secondary storage for us we have an nvme boot device and then we have a four terabyte storage device to dump a whole bunch of files or games or whatever we want to dump on there. If this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, we do monthly giveaways on our Facebook page. All you have to do is like GreenPCGamers.com on Facebook and you will qualify for those giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.